Hi everyone, in this video we need to take a look at uh, NVIDIA Gauguin 2. Um, I'm just going to read the description so you know what this one is all about, if you haven't heard about it before. Uh, it's named after a post-impressionist painter Paul Gauguin. Create photorealistic images from segmentation maps which are labeled sketches that depict the layout of a scene. Uh, Artists can use text, paintbrush and paint bucket tool or both methods to design their own landscapes. A star transfer algorithm allows creators to apply filters, changing a daytime scene to sunset or photorealistic image to a painting. Users can even upload their own filter to layers uh, onto their masterpieces or upload custom segmentation maps and landscape images as, uh, as foundation for the work. So basically, I'm using the SAS version of this. So you can actually download the app or you can try the online uh, launch iteration demo keep in mind that the desktop version required an rtx graphic card all right so uh, let's get uh, and show you all the different things i already toying around with this by the way but we're going to start from a new canvas all right so we're starting for fresh we're going to use segmentation here because we're going to i'm going to show it to you a bit later uh again what i'm showing to you is just part of the things there are many things that you can actually toy around but you know, the things that i really like the most and i want to show to you so input text first of all you can put text rocks in a big lake for example you just write it and then you press this button render output and on the right side you're gonna see uh, the output this is actually not a good one it's a watermelon inside all right all right rocks in a big lake right you can type for example narrow lake passing through lush mountain all right very descriptive narrow a lake passing passing through a lush mountain this is not a good one uh we're gonna try again sometimes it takes a bit of uh you know, freshness and then it actually shows it All right beautiful we're gonna try there are more of course you can try more by just pressing this button there are also different themes by the way oh this is beautiful narrow lake passing through lush mountain gorgeous All right uh you can find by the way um Pressing this one to the different themes you can actually use, right? You can try it out here. Right, we try variation again because I want to use something with segmentation to show to you a bit more changes. Alright. Alright, let's take this one. Alright, this image. Actually not that clear. Let's try another one, something that's more. No, this is the angle. This is a beautiful image, by the way. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Beautiful image. All right, let's take this one. Actually, I want something closer because I want to put some things. Houses and stuff. No, it's too far. But you can see it's still generating things based on the text. All right, let's take this one, okay. I won't toy around with this too much. It's kind of a weird image, but okay. All right, so basically what I can do now is I can change things, for example, Actually, it's a good one to demonstrate what I want to do. I want to just get rid of this mountain. All right. So, for example, I'm going to choose this one with image eraser, uh, and uh, I can choose the bright size, should get bigger. Uh, let's say that I want to just get rid of all this area because I like this part and I want to segment this. And just get rid of this. All right. A bit of the sky left over. It's okay. All right, getting rid of this. And uh, yeah, all right, let's get it all together. And what I'm gonna do now in this area, let's put, uh, here we're gonna put, let's say, I need to choose the brush. I need to, by the way, press segmentation here. All right, sketch. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a river here. All right, and uh, let's put a uh, hill. It's going to be a hill here, All right? It's going to be a hill here. And a bit of fog. And uh, sky. I should put sky first, but never mind. Sky. All right, uh, let's just render this one. You see, he just override it with the sky, with the hill, with the fog. So it just created, you know, segment here, 
it just looks really really nice now you see and of course the transition by the way is also made really really good all right considering how patchy it actually was when i did this all right uh, you can by the way uh tap again All right, just the same thing. All right, it doesn't rewall it. All right, uh, we can add new things. For example, we can add, let's say, uh, a fog. We can add fog here, or fog here. Render. Sometimes it produces very high quality. Sometimes the quality is not that great. All right, more fog. All right, but the best thing is actually trying things from the beginning. All right, so what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna create new canvas and we're gonna create things from scratch all right I mean when it comes to the segmentation area all right so basically we're now drawing and creating our own image based uh, I mean the algorithm we create the image based on uh, input that we create here so let's try for example I want to do first uh, a river all right we're gonna put a river here and I mean, it needs a bit smaller all right and we're going to put um, rocks here with some rocks, probably a rock formation. You can put actually just single rocks just inside. Uh, we're going to put a hill. It's going to be a hill here in this area, a hill. And then it's going to be a mountain. It's going to be a mountain here. All right, uh, some fog in this area. Uh, the sky is already there. Um, clouds. Right, let's just render this one. All right. Uh, all right. Let's just render this. Based on this output, it's going to generate an image. This is not a good one, by the way. We're going to try again. Sometimes just generate a complete mass. All right, let's add more information. Uh, let's add the mountain. I think it's just in more information. Let's put here this one. Uh, rocks. Put more rocks here. All right. Let's give it to him. Create something beautiful. Oh, looking much better now. All right. Cool. Mountains at the background. Uh, let's... Um, let's put the river, by the way. Let's put the river more here. All right. It's a b bigger river. Hopefully this will be resulting in a better image. Oh, much better. Some of these can do a really incredible job, by the way. It depends on actually your input. Sometimes getting really beautiful stuff. This is so-so. Uh, uh, what we can add more, uh, for example, we can add snow. So let's put snow here. All right, generate. All right. Uh, no, I'm gonna try again because I want to show you something. Uh, so we're gonna do like this, uh, mountain. I'm going to use big strokes this time, it faster. Uh, mountain, uh, river, river, um, ground, mm, mud. I'm going to put mud here, mud here. Mm. the hill it will be gonna be here it's gonna be hill here all right let's fill it up hill uh 
Fog. Let's wait with the fog. Yeah, let's just render this one. Some, something more simple for the algorithm. All right. Nice. Cool. All right. Now, uh, what we can do is add more things. So, so, for example, buildings. We can add buildings. So, if I want to add a bridge, all right, I created this. I want to add a bridge. So, we're going to create a bridge from here. Oh, this is a big bridge. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's try. We should add a bridge from one side to the other. Oh my god, what have I done to the image? No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes the algorithm just, just can't handle this. It can't handle my creativity. Yeah, this was actually too big. It's trying, it's trying. Let's try again. We generate. Oh my god, this is just terrible. All right, uh, uh, I, I can fix this. By the way, you can fix this. Uh, you can put, uh, let's put river over this. All right. And uh, heal. Just a second. I'm going to put it. I can fix. I can create a beautiful bridge, by the way. Take a look. And then building bridge. We're going to use a much narrower one. And this. All right. All right. Take a look. This is going to be a beautiful bridge. I created beautiful bridges before. Here we go. Told you. Here we go. Looks much nicer. And now we can actually add some, let's say, houses. Houses, by the way, it's really cool. So if I had a house here, I can actually add house with a roof. House with a roof. Let's try to regenerate this, by the way. You can always do that. Oh, nice. The roof, yeah, it's too big. I can understand why it's like that. It's my bad. You can create a, a big house, for example. A house. Let's try to create a big house. It's going to be a bigger house. All right, here. I'm going to populate it a bit. See? And now we're going to add um, plants. Now, plants, I tried. We should make it a bit smaller. And we're going to add some... Uh, Let's say grass over here. Uh, it's different color, by the way. Near the houses. We we'll need some trees. Uh, maybe trees here. Put some trees. All right, let's generate this. It's like a face. And let's see. Yeah, we have some trees here. Cool. Um, Flowers. We're gonna add some flowers. That's in your lake. That would be kind of interesting. Flowers here along this area. That would be really cool. All right. So we're adding flowers. Nice, huh? Some flowers. Uh, add here, here, a bit in random places. More flowers. Nice. We can generate it again. Yeah, cool. Cool image. All right. Um, there are many ways you can take. By the way, if you want, if you wonder what happens if I do, a, if I'm going to make a big house. So I make it even bigger. Let's just make the brush make it bigger. Yeah, we make a bigger house. It's going to be now a much bigger one. So a house is a structure house. It can become bigger. You see, I can make it like even more volume. Try again. This actually house. This roof actually is much better. So it tries. It tries. The algorithm tries to make something. All right. Uh, yeah, bigger. Let's go bigger. All right. Let's go. Let's create a tower. <laughs> All right. This like look like a like an army tower. All right. Cool. 
and you can see how it goes all right we can generate it by the way if you want to see different uh, variation nice by the way i try many times you can actually create some of the rendering depends on the input can create really beautiful things some of them just look quite bad i mean it's better of course to try it out yourself and play around with this be more accurate with actually what you're creating but the result can be really nice sometimes really really nice yeah, so this is it. Uh, you can play around with more. There are many different options here. This is a tutorial that will teach you, so you can actually try it all out. Uh, I'm going to link to it uh, in the description of this video for both the SAS version, the online version, or um, if you have their Artigas graphic card, you can try the desktop version as well. Uh, and this is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Play around with this. It's absolutely incredible. You can really get some really creative and beautiful shots, which are all, of course, original. This actually makes you wonder the future of stock photography if you can generate things like that imagine of course more advanced algorithms for many different other things and combining many different other things the results can be absolutely astonishing it really makes you wonder about the future of stock photography when you see this and uh, i'm going to link uh in the description of this video for both the sas version and the desktop version so you can try it yourself really give it a try it's absolutely amazing you can really create amazing stuff much better than actually what you've seen here i tried it for like an hour and a half it's absolutely stunning, mesmerizing. So this is it for this video. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.